Rush Duel is a fast-paced spin-off game of Yu-Gi-Oh! where you can summon as many monsters as you want and draw up to 5 cards each turn. In this series, me and the Dr. Alex progress through each Rush Duel product release and build decks with whatever cards were available at that time. We have been drafting characters from the Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's anime and have exclusive access to those characters' boss monsters, and will continue to draft characters from the Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush series. Join us as we continue to battle it out in this series, Rush Duel Character Draft. Fortissimo of the Whirlwinds was released on October 8th, 2022, and introduces four new Go Rush anime characters. George Jersey introduces Black Luster Soul Jersey, a 2500 attack Earth Warrior normal monster. He also brings Black Luster Soul Jersey, Envoy of the Drying, a 2500 attack warrior monster that can shuffle two monsters with 500 defense and different attributes from grave to deck to place one face up level 8 or lower monster on your opponent's field to the bottom of their deck, but this turn cannot attack directly. I will be taking London and Ranran, Ran, while Alex will take Rovian, George, and Salvage Warfish. So this is the deck we're bringing to today's game. This is Spellcasters. So Spellcasters is a very interesting deck type because we kind of have two builds. We have the original Sevens Road Magician all element deck where the whole point of the deck is to fill your deck with as many different attribute spellcasters as possible and then have them all in conjunction ideally in the graveyard to facilitate sevens red magician's effect to boost it to ridiculous attack points and then the more modern version of the deck has been the kind of pure dark uh sevens road deck which is more about just having a shit ton of dark monsters in the graveyard and getting benefits based on the number of different dark monsters in your graveyard so this deck is kind of going back to the roots of the spellcasters and having all the different elements. And the reason for that is our new card, Road Arms Sevens Lance. So if you have no other face-up Road Arms Sevens Lance on your field, equip this card to one face-up Sevens Road Magician on your field. The equipped monster gains attack equal to the number of different attributes in your graveyard times 400 and cannot be destroyed by your opponent's traps. So this, again, wants us to have a lot of different attributes. We can only equip it to our Sevens Road, but this will allow our Sevens Road to become enormous. And because it's an equip spell, the boost will last during our opponent's turn, which has traditionally been the weakness of Sevens Road Magician, being that on our opponent's turn, it's only 2,100 attack. So the other benefit this card has is it protects it from trap destruction. So if our opponent is on anything like our Dark Liberation or Mirror Force or anything like that, we can just use Sevens Lance to protect our Sevens Road Magician and attack willy-nilly and feel quite safe in doing so. So the other card we haven't used before in this series is Strong Boy Sevens Road. So if you have a monster in your graveyard, send the top card of your deck to the graveyard, this card gains attack equal to the number of different attributes in your graveyard times 200 until the end of this turn. So same as Sevens Road Magician, except it's only 200 instead of 300. And then if your opponent's life points are 700 or less, inflict 700 million damage to your opponent. So this is a very niche effect and it's probably never going to come off, but it's funny that it can. We haven't used this card before because when we've played the Spellcasters more recently, we've been using the Pure Dark variant and Strong Boy Sevens Road is better in this kind of multi-attribute version. So the other cards in the deck, we're on three copies of Light Sorcerer, just as a light spellcaster monster. Three copies of Fire Sorcerer, again, just as a fire spellcaster monster. We're on one copy of Darkness Zero Rogue. So this card's effect is probably going to be too relevant, but we have it in here because we have the Magician of Dark Sevens in the extra deck, and we are on one copy of Fusion, so this might be something we go into. We're on three copies of Sevens Road Witch. This is great because it can just summon out our level seven or higher dark attribute spellcaster monsters, which includes Sevens Road Magician, Strong Boy Sevens Road, and Darkness Zero Rogue, and is also half of the Fusion for Master of Sevens Road. We are on a new card, three copies of Philian Dwarf. So during the turn, you normally summon this card, so then top two cards of your deck to the graveyard, then you can place one spell slash trap card from your opponent's graveyard to the bottom of the deck. This secondary effect can be relevant, but for the most part, this is an Earth Spellcaster monster that can also fill our graveyard with yet more Spellcaster monsters to try and hit all of our effects. We are on three copies of Mystic Dealer. This is a Water Spellcaster that we can send a Spellcaster monster from our hand to the graveyard to draw a card. Always going to be a powerful effect. Another Water Spellcaster, an amazing dealer. If you have three or less monsters in your graveyard, pay 300 life points, send three cards from your hand to the graveyard, draw three cards. This can help us unbrick and try and find us into our boss monsters, or if we have too many boss monsters, throw some of them away, get some cards into our hand, and obviously filling our graveyard exactly what we want to be doing with this deck for all of our effects effectively, like Seven's Road Magician wants them in the graveyard, Strong Boy Seven's Road wants them in the graveyard, Seven's Lance wants them in the graveyard, and Dark Liberation wants just lots and lots of spellcasters in our graveyard. We are on three copies of Wording Fairy. This is in it just because it is a wind spellcaster monster. But if your opponent has a monster on their field during the turn you normal summon this card, shuffle three monsters from your graveyard into the deck. Again, this is kind of counterproductive, but if we're 
If the game's going how we want, we'll have lots of monsters in the graveyard anyway, so we should have some to spare. But we can shuffle three monsters from our opponent's graveyard into the deck. Then if you have two face-up, non-level one spellcasting monsters in the field, you can shuffle three additional monsters from your opponent's graveyard into the deck. So there are a lot of decks that are very similar to ours that also need their graveyard to be full of cards. So Wording Fairy gives us a way to kind of have some counterplay to that and try and shuffle all of Alex's cards back into his deck. So as we said before in the one copy of Fusion, this is because this isn't really a fusion-based deck. And all of our fusion monsters just want us to have a bunch of dark monsters in the graveyard, which we don't have a ton of. So we're only going to be on the one. The other thing is, a lot of the time we brick on fusion, so we think just one should be fine. We're on two copies of Magical Stream, just our spell and trap destruction. One copy of Monster Reborn. This is because one, we're all st we are still playing the fusions. So being able to get our fusions back from the graveyard, very, very powerful. But also, in order to use our Road Arm 7's Lance, it can only be equipped to 7's Road Magician. So if we mill our 7's Road Magician, or if it gets destroyed, but we then find Lance, we are completely dead in the water. So we need a way to get sevens road back and that is why we're a monster reborn so our seven lance as we've already said dark liberation one of the best trap cards in the game just mirror force and all we have to do is shuffle four spellcasters back and then two curtain sparks just 500 attack off an opponent's monster this can be very relevant especially if alex has effects that protect him from trap cards like our own sevens lance so that's it for the main deck. Uh, extra deck is just Master of Sevens Road Ma Magician of Dark Sevens. Again, these aren't going to get super big, but they are level 9, which can give them a bit of protection from some specific trap cards. So in the side deck, we're on three copies of Hammer Crush, just in case we feel that we need extra spell trap destruction, a second copy of Fusion, another copy of Magical Stream, three copies of Armaments of Ascension, again, in case we feel that like we need the extra attack boost, and in case we feel like the level boost is going to be relevant, if Alex has a lot of cards that specifically target level 8 or lower. We're on three copies of Darkness Road. So this is an interesting field spell. So while this card is face up on the field face up level five or higher dark attribute spellcaster monsters on the field being 400 attack and lose 1500 defense so this will make our strong boy and our sevens road magician 2500 attack base which includes during our opponent's turn which makes them a lot stronger when being attacked into we are also on three copies of hard defense mission just very very powerful trap and then the third curtain of sparks in case alex is for example on just a lot of cards that have uh, trap destruction immunity so we'll just bring another curtain of sparks and try and use that so this is the deck um, I'm feeling pretty confident in it. Realistically, these spellcasters never really let us down. They've always been very, very powerful in the past. So I am feeling, yeah, pretty, pretty good about this game. So why don't we fire on in and see what Alex is bringing. So last week, we had a pretty interesting game. I played Wind Psychics. Yes, Wind Psychics. And you were on... No, fairies. Fair that was You're it. on yes, the fairy deck. Yes, yes. We are on the new dark fairies against your new wind psychics, which were kind of a new spin on kind of existing things we had, right? Because there was already a kind of established psychic deck and there was already an established fairy deck. Uh, but we kind of have like the new flavor of those decks, which is pretty cool. Um, we got to see some interesting little combos that both the decks could do. My deck was more about kind of establishing uh, a board, changing your battle positions. Yours was more about... Uh, fucking with my hands, changing the number of cards I have, gaining attack boosts based on those numbers, and inflicting some burn damage to actually both of us, because you have quite a few life point costs in that deck. Yeah. So it was an interesting matchup, but it was not the only new cards that we got from the latest pack for Tissimo of Whirlwinds. We also have some other new interesting cards, which I'm sure we'll get to showcase here. Now, I believe you have a few more options than I do, because we got the new card type in Equip Spells, which they, you got a lot more, I believe. You got, I think, three for your wind psychics you've got one for dragons you've got one for light galaxy i don't remember if you got one for dark galaxy yes i believe so you did get one okay and you got one for the pyro pyro yes. get one <laughs> yeah pyro we got a couple of generic ones and one for like normal monsters which was interesting but the only dedicated ones that i got were actually machines and spell casters so they're are a lot of options available to us and to me because well, I also got a new beast gear card so I could also bring back like a beast warrior strategy so there is some some spice here and we can build some quite interesting decks I think but yeah. without further ado shall we jump in and see what each other's brought rather than keep speculating yeah, let's go yeah all right see how you beat oh, for god's sake <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm actually going to go second. Okie dokie. Um, then I... am going to summon out Mystic Dealer. I'm going to fire off its effect. Discarding a card mm. to draw a card. Um... 
Okay, I think I'm going to normal summon out Wording Fairy. Tribute both to summon Strong Boy Seven's Road. It's very much similar to Seven's Road Magician, except only gains 200 attack for each element in the graveyard. And if your life points are 700 or less, I can inflict 700 million damage, which I'm sure is going to come up. It's just I I don't see a world in which it doesn't come up. And then I'll end the turn. Yeah, sounds like. Okay, I will summon. Penguin Soldier Z. Okay. And Cannon Soldier Z. Okay. We will Black Luster Jersey Ritual. So we're sending both to the grave. Um, sending out 2500 attack. Or fight just any level 8 with 500 defense. I don't know how many of those there are outside of the Black Luster Monsters. I don't think there are any other than the Black Luster Monsters. I did have a look. And I couldn't find any. You've walked into my trap card. Nothing. <laughs> Okay, kept a card in hand, so that's probably a high level monster. Um hmm. This is kinda tricky. Actually hmm. No, this is pretty bad. We're gonna set two monsters. Okay. And we'll set a back row and end on that. Okay. I wanted to get my hand empty, but... Uh, well, I'll set... Penguin Soldier, is he? Okay. Tribute him for Hilt. Okay. Get out Sword Dancer. There he is. We'll use Hilt Boost. Got a lot of 500 Defense Warriors, aren't there? Uh... Boost Sword Dancer. Go to battle. Big but now it's time for your favourite trap card. <laughs> oh, Dark Liberation. For God's sake. <laughs> so right, you have your own version of this now in your galaxy deck. Unfortunately this hand is not very good. Uh, so let's have a do-over. Amazing dealer. I'm gonna get rid of this, this, and this, I think. This hand also sucks. Uh, well, at least I can do this, I suppose. I flip summon my two 1500 beaters. Then go to battle phase. And swing. For 3000. And then to assert dominance, zero. <laughs> then I pass. Okay. Uh, we'll set... Fourth one, a road star. Okay. Sword dancer. Okay. Tribute two for soul jersey. So now it's not actually a bad time to use his effect because he wouldn't know. be attacking directly anyway. Yeah, we'll talk. Got a lot of lights in the graveyard. Blue and even. Send him. Goodbye, my magician. Goodbye. Ow. Goes for the life point damage. Mm-hmm. Okay, we draw. Let's start with this. We're going to normal summon out Mystic Dealer. Fire off its effect. And we'll get rid of Fire Sorcerer to draw. Uh, okay. I need a Tribute Summonable Monster, so I guess we're just going to go digging. Amazing Dealer. Activate the effect. Get rid of our whole hand. Okay. Um, we will then fire off Magical Stream and go after this back row. What was this? Back jersey. When an opponent's normal or special summons level 5 or higher monster, pay 500 life points. One face it must be 500 defense. If gains 500 attack in his turn, then you can shuffle up two months from your opponent's grave into the deck. It's a really annoying effect, isn't it? Yeah, would have been really good against your deck. I tribute two monsters to summon Seven's Road Magician. And we'll go ahead and fire off its effect. Oh, don't get rid of my Dark Liberation. Alright, well now it's time to activate Road Arm 7's Lance. Giving nice. our boy a big Chungo boost. Oof. And protecting him from trap cards. Well, can it be destroyed by trap cards? I should specify. And then we'll get him for 15. And then it's your turn. Uh, oh, come on. 
Pog. God, you and this card, bro. Uh. I'll just call it Pot of Alley. I mean, it's, it's fine. I've got nothing. I've got a hammer crash. Uh... Oh. Normal summon. Give it a summon of ascension. Give it to Sol Jesse. There's the 17. Be over your light sorcerer. Then. Um, well, we did draw this just in case. Oof. We'll set two in case you have something to stop me. And we'll set a back row. Fire of this. Go to battle. And showing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Rodarm Seven's Lance seems pretty good, doesn't it? I mean, <laughs> spellcasters have always been good. Like, I mean, yeah, but just. You've the, got a cherry now on top of your cake. <laughs> the, the weakness of Seven's Road has always been that it's only a 2100 attacker. Um, well, a 2100 defender, I should say. When it's being attacked, it's always very weak. So Seven's Lance like really makes up for that weakness by letting it be massive on your turn. And obviously, you know, trap protection is a bit nutty as well. Second. Okay. Yeah, obviously, um, spellcasters are a very powerful deck. They always have been. Um, but your dragon deck did also get a new equip spell as well, so I expect to see that in the next couple of weeks. Uh, it'll be interesting to see where we go with that. I think for now I'm going to summon out two light sorcerers and set a back row hmm. and pass back to you. Okay, uh, well, I'll throw off a hammer crash. Okay. Got my magical stream. Uh, uh, two. Okay, so I get to keep, to get to keep a monster, which is at least something. Goodbye, light sorcerer. Right. Hmm, this is a tricky hand. Alright, I'm going to normal summon out Mystic Dealer. I'm going to fire off the effect, get rid of my Whispering Fairy to draw a card. Actually, <sighs> that doesn't do what I need it to do. Um... Play here is going to be to set two cards mm -hmm. and then pass the turn back. Ooh. That a back row. Mm -hmm. Get out. Cannon soldier, is he? Swordsman of Red Star. Okay. Set this. Go to battle. Swing of the Light Sorcerer. Yeah, thousand damage in. Swing of the... That. I'm getting for 12. Yeah, we've got to take all of that. Something good off the draw? Ooh, not really. Does that accomplish anything right now? Uh, hmm. Alright, this is a little bit sus, but I think this is the play. I'm going to normal summon out <laughs> Billion Dwarf and fire off its effect. So I mill two, and then I don't think I'm going to bother returning Spell Trap to you. But, thankfully, I did mill exactly what I was after. So, I'm going to activate Monster Reborn. Okay. Bring back my Sevens Road Magician. Off, off, back jersey. Okay. Give. That's fine. I like them in there. Stop putting them back yeah, in. I know you like deck. them in there. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, you've actually really thrown a wrench in what I need to do here. Well, shuffling all those cards back has caused me to have to reevaluate my entire life. <laughs> so I could still use Seven's Road's effect. 
Oh, I can't use Seven Zones effects. I don't have any monsters in the graveyard currently. So I have to. I can get a monster into the graveyard. Then I can use Seven Zone Magician's effect for a maximum of two. Uh, two would be enough if I did mill a monster of a different element than my Philian Dwarf. Alternatively, I can do this, which guarantees it, but is more boring. Alright, I think we have to do this, unfortunately. I'm going to summon out my Sevens Road Witch. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to fire off Sevens Road Magician and see what we hit. Okay. So I still could use this, but... The other thing is, depending on what your back row is, it might actually be the wrong move to do that anyway. Alright, in which case, I think the play is actually this. I'm going to activate... Sevens, Road Arm Sevens Lance. Then we're going to normal summon out Light Sorcerer. Go to battle. We're going to start with this. We're going to attack over your Road Star. Then we're going to attack this and hope it's no combat trick. Okay, and then we'll end. So I was like, okay. Sevens Lance gives me protection from destruction by trap but if you had like a combat trick i just still lose that og <laughs> um that goddamn face bro um no point in doing that no one's a Penguin soldiers. Okay. Set a back row. Well, normal summon. Dark oh, Gluster soldiers, eh? Okay. Penguin soldiers, eh? So you could, if you wanted to, uh... bounce my light sorcerer, but that'd be it. Yes. I don't know how I feel about Penguin Soul Jersey. I don't dislike the card. I think the cost is too high. I think you should, like, have to shuffle cards back from your graveyard into your deck or something instead. Yeah. Hammer Crash. This one. Oh, you've got my combat trick. And then I will normal summon a Hilt, the bearer of noble arms. Okay, Boost. I do like this hill inclusion. It's, it's a it's a bit weird, right? Because it's level five, but five hundred defense monster that buffs warriors. Nope. Hilt's not getting over them, so we'll just end. All right, we're looking for something big. That is nothing big. Okay, what's on our graveyard currently? So I could do this. Problem being. Alright, I think I have to do this. So I'm going to normal summon out my amazing dealer. We're going to fire off his effect. Mm. And we're going to be getting rid of three pretty good cards. Uh, drawing some okay cards. But I'd rather not have a zero attack monster out while I'm on this low life. Uh, what are we doing here? Alright, we're definitely setting these, because there's no reason to not get them out of my hand. I think we're then actually going to tribute the Amazing Dealer to summon out just another Sevens Road Witch. Go to okay. battle, and then try and get over Hilt with a Witch. Old Jersey! When a opponent's monster kills an attack for 500 life points, all face at monsters with 500 defense, he'll gain 500 attack. Okay, that's pretty cool. So that protects it for the rest of the turn as well. So, at least I get rid of the back row, I suppose. So we'll just pass on that. Bean soldiers, eh? Okay. I'm gonna end because I know you don't have thingy back there. Okay. Um. Yeah, if I do have a dark liberation, that's definitely the right move. I suppose you could also change some monsters to defense, but that causes its own. I've got can 500 of worms. defense. <laughs> yeah, plus, like, you, if you change the one you want to keep to defense, which would be Black Aster Soul Jersey, like, the other two can't really do much on their own. 
Um, the question now becomes, what am I actually going to do with this? This is actually all kinds of tricky. Tricky, 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 tricky. Um, I think the play is going to be normal summon light sorcerer past the turn. Ooh. Gonna tribute to Envoy with Drying. Okay. Activate Envoy with Drying. Send that to the bottom of your deck. Okay. Normal summon cannon. Activate its effect. Okay. Uh yeah. Oh. Penguin. His effect. Then give armaments to Envoy the Drying and pass. Okay. So we emptied the whole hand. Alright. I guess we will normal summon Wording Fairy. Mm -hmm. I'm going to normal summon Philian Dwarf. Fire a Philian Dwarf's effect to mill two. And yeah, sure, we'll put a card back. You can have your full jersey back in your deck. Then, I'm going to tribute both of these cards to summon out Strong Boy Seven's Road. Next up, I will. Fire off his effect. Get him up to 31. I will then summon out two light sorcerers. And go to battle. I will attack with strong boy into your regular soul jersey. Uh, I'm going to throw off. Ruler's Deadly Jewel. Okay, the attack wants to lose 400 attack, and then you can just rest back. Okay, then I will attack over your Penguin Soul Jersey, and then pass to you. Oof. Okay. We will. That. Or dance of bean. Uh, pass back. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is funny draws. I'm not sure if good draws. Okay, I'm going to tribute. Two sorcerers to summon out Strong Boy Seven's Road. I'm gonna pop off Revenge Max. Okay. Oh, on my field? Oh. Uh, well, by armaments. I don't know. Well, yeah. What did you think? You could just pop a spell trap and pop... my monster? Yeah. That would be the best <laughs> trap of all time. Um, oh, you have the best trap of all time. It's mirror Force, but you get three of them. You also get three Mirror Force in your Light Galaxy deck we talk about. Uh, I will set... Activate the effect of Strong Boy. Hmm. Set... Go to Battle. And we'll give this guy a little love tap. Pass back to you. Uh, okay. Look at the set. Um, Spent cannon soldiers. Okay. 
pop off a black. Ooh, Must that's pretty good. Ritual. Now, in for the drying. Okay. Set two more back row. Uses effect. Uh, so you can't attack directly now. Uh, at the bottom of your deck. Go to battle. Now, unfortunately, I can't Win. destroy your monster, but I'm going to do this anyway. Get Dark Liberated. Uh, I want this, and I want uh, this, and this. It doesn't matter what else I pick. This. Uh. Oh. Yeah. Unfortunately, piercing. It was actually... So, in total, I think it was the... Cannon Soul Jersey that actually did the extra 500 you needed to kill me <laughs> yeah. there. So it all adds up. It all adds up. All right, game three. All right, I think I will go first. I know I actually like going okay. second. Um, let's start with this. We'll summon Mystic Dealer. Fire off the effect. And I don't need this in my hand. Um... I will set a back row, and then I'm going to set mystery card. Ooh. And end. Well, set two. Bean. Boon. Swordsman and Roadstar. Yep. Is there a tribute in my future? There is. It's Blacklist of Soldiers. And we'll swing. 15 to the dome. Alright, we will summon Wording Fairy. I will tribute it to summon Seven's Road Witch. A Fire of Witch to summon Seven's Road Magician. Okay, yeah, now I back to it. Jersey. Yep. Give my guy a boost and shuffle all the good other spellcasters back into the deck. I will then activate Darkness Road, reducing my defense Ooh. and increasing my attack. Is this new? Uh, this came out with the Mega Road pack, I believe. Alright. Um, so where we got the other support. I don't think you've ever used it before. Uh, no, I've had it in the side deck a little bit, but it's a bit weird. Um, I only really saw a point in using it with Sevens, uh, Strong Boy Sevens Road, because then you have like a lot mm. of targets to get them to 2500. And, but if you're playing Strong Boy Sevens Road, then you're playing the Elemental variant of the deck, so you just want to have all the different attributes in the deck. Um, and before when I was playing, I was playing the pure Dark ver version of Spellcasters. Yeah. Unfortunately, I can't activate Sevens Road Magician with no cards in the graveyard. Uh, and even if I did, it gave it up to a maximum of 28. So I have to just pass on this. I'm a crush. It's gotta be Darkness Road. Okay. Penguin. Bean. Tribute for another Blackluster. In the second. Yep. Then. So we will draw. We will summon Amazing Dealer. Activate mm -hmm. dealer's effect. I think I need to send all of these to grave. Then I will summon my Philian Dwarf and fire off its effect. Uh, no, we don't need to do that. Then I'll tribute both monsters to summon Seven's Road Magician. Mm -hmm. Activate my Darkness Road. Mm -hmm. Set a back row. Activate the effect of Seven's Road Magician. And then try to get over one of these boys. Uh, yeah. I'll activate the Deadly Jewel. Okay. Let's... Get rid of that. You hit Fusion. Ooh! <laughs> An end. Oh yeah, you have a... An extra deck. I do. Interesting. Hasn't been super relevant as of yet. Yeah. Uh, alright, set that back for it. Don't have all the bits. Let's 
set. Uh, hmm. this. Womp. Ooh, that's pretty good. Activates effect. These guys back in. Unfortunately. Don't have any more summonable monsters, but hey. Okay, we have stuff. Um Alright, we're gonna normal summon Amazing Dealer. Mm-hmm. We're going to normal summon Fire Sorcerer. I'm gonna tribute both to summon Strong Boy Sevens Road. Back Jersey. That is a okay. Um, I got one wind. Got shuffle the two waters and. Ooh. <laughs> Fires back into deck. Okay, we will fire off my strong boys effect. Then I will fire off Monster Reborn. Ooh. Bring back the OG Sevens Road. Fire off his effect. Then I will go to battle. We'll attack with regular Sevens Road. And then we will get in with Strong Boy and pass back. Bean. Help. Cannon. Okay. Pop off the ritual. Activate its effect. We'll send. Simmons Ridge back. Okay. Then swing. You've walked into my curtain of sparks. So we will oh. be going together. Now the question is going to be can I finish you off? I believe I can with these draws, depending on what your face down is. So I will summon out Wording Fairy. We'll tribute it to summon out Sevens Rig Witch. Let's get a couple more summons in. Set a back row, go to battle, see if you have anything to stop it. Uh, it's Jersey rights. <laughs> oh. All things considered, that was a really good series, I think. Um, yeah, I like that. I thought it was going to be a bit lopsided uh, because the spellcaster was obviously so strong. But that game too, you uh, definitely played around all my traps very well and were able to mount a very solid defense, took the game. And a couple of times in this last game, I thought you were going to take it. So uh, what's what's your first impression on the Soul Jerseys? Obviously they seem a little bit awkward to play, but the their boss monster, Envoy the Drying, seems very powerful. Yeah, he's neat. I like him. Um, the, them having different types is a bit annoying. It'd be nice if they were all warriors. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, Envoys is a tribute, so that's fine. Well, know? the only requirement is that you have to have 500 defense monsters, right? Like, nothing, I think, says that you specifically have to play Soul Jersey cards. But I don't know how yeah, many true. 500 defense monsters there are. Like, because obviously you were playing a lot of 500 defense warriors in the deck anyway. I don't know if there's enough 500 warrior defense, or defense warriors, uh, to just build the deck without the other Soul Jersey cards or not. Yeah, no, the... The ones that I put in, Sword Dancer and Swordsman of Redstone, are the only, like, low drop... Warriors with 500 defense. Uh, that's a bit of a shame. But I mean, it does open the design space where in the future they could print just more 500 defense monsters and they just kind of will have incremental synergy with the Black Luster Soul Jersey cards. So maybe there's hope for the future because that's the thing. When you just base it around just a stat, uh, you can 
infinitely just create new cards that just have 500 defense and they will just immediately slot into this. I actually wonder if there are some like design card designers at Konami which are looking at this and going, right now we actually have to be very careful when we make monsters in the future because if they have 500 <laughs> defense, they can now work with this deck. Yeah. But yeah, it was it was fun. Um, the only thing I really got to show off that was new, I mean, obviously I hadn't used Darkness Road before, but um, Seven's Road Lance seems very, very powerful. Um, the, the, the restriction of it, of only being able to equip to Seven's Road Magician, it kind of sucks, but at the same time, I think if you could equip it to anything, it would be way too strong. So I understand it. Probably, yeah. Um, but yeah, that was uh, that was the games. Uh, and I had fun. I'm looking forward to next week. Me too. <laughs> so yeah, GG, buddy. GG.